Hello, Dr. Pat here to talk to you about some finer points in your posture prepping to go ahead and further improve your horse's posture performance and overall well-being. So in humans, we have a condition called plantar fasciitis and that also can be related to horses. Uh, if you've ever had it, it's a very debilitating, painful disorder, um, which is not always easy to resolve, but I find it to be much easier to resolve in horses than in people, which is exciting. When you get up in the morning as a person, you end up walking across the floor like this, with your feet underneath you, because you don't want to sit down and sink and stretch into your Achilles and your plantar fascia. You'll see horses, for a multitude of reasons, imbalance in their shoeing, um, poor fitting saddles that make them get hollow and then they want to stand more like a goat on a rock. You might be able to go ahead and correct the front end posture with changing up the saddle, but quite often the hind end still wants to stand too far underneath. When we have that, that can also smash the heels down, causing imbalance of the feet, and then you're perpetuating the problem. So in the horse, essentially, his gaskin is his calf. This is our heel, so this would be the bottom of the foot and the toe. So this would be the plantar fascia. So we have the superficial flexor tendon, the deep flexor tendon, and then we have the um, suspensory, and that is what's making up that plantar fascia. So those three tissues, elements, the tendons between each other and the suspensors should be able to glide and the tendons should be able to glide within the tendon sheath so that they can work like a piston so as you sink down and he sinks down into his um, fetlock, into his hock, his stifle and his hip, that's all part of the shock absorption and the suspension, right, with the suspensory ligament. So we want to make sure we've started by doing our uh, basic posture prepping from the top line, from the hind end to the front and the core and the timing zone for the legs. You always want to be safe and work within their tolerance. So I've got Susie helping us here. I'm going to stand here, feel pretty comfortable and holding his hock. And we want to go across that gaskin, our basic cross fiber, and across the Achilles, skin has to move freely. It's not moving freely, they're going to be uncomfortable in their skin, just like you're uncomfortable in tight gloves, tight shoes, tight socks. Our body's going to then tighten up and cause restriction. So I'm going to do the basic cross fiber, and I'm going to go all the way down into the foot. Then you want to make sure you come up in between those tendons and suspensories because we're trying to loosen that all up. Keep those lymphatics moving, circulation. I come up into the hock, I come down into here, and then what I want to do is actually come across, like I'm strumming across those tendons like this. And that really helps to release some of the tightness up in here, which is where we would get heel pain Horses also have many issues there that veterinarians need to try and treat. And so hopefully we can help to undo those before they get started. So we're going to turn them a little bit here. Oh boy, critter. So you can see, if I pick this up. Boy. Good boy. So I can, he's a little hairy here, but I can strum and pull and push those tendons over. And they're gonna be tighter as they're anchored up there stronger. So that's what I'm doing as I'm coming across. I'm playing those tendons. Good boy. And when they wanna drop the toe like that, drop their hip, then I know that I've, I've loosened that up pretty nicely. And then they're gonna be much more comfortable standing down into that weight. Now let me think there. So at the same time, you don't want to forget about starring the far. The point of the hip is also the right rear wheel, the um, functional axis of rotation. So you might have some 
restrictions in that fascia. So you want to make sure that you do the star and the far technique. Some horses you need to do that as much as you do down there when you're first starting to leap release stuff, just depending on what's going on if we have any dense things, red flags, or scar tissue. So that is plantar fasciitis. Hope you enjoyed it.